Today we're going to look at the multiplication strategy of derived facts. Facts are things that we just know, we have memorized, or we understand already. When we use derived facts, we use multiplication facts that we know to solve multiplication problems that we don't know. So if we were to look at 7 times 5 and pretend that we don't know what the answer is, we could use some facts that we do know. We need to keep in mind though what 7 times 5 means. 7 times 5 is 7 groups of 5. So if I know how to make other kinds of groups of 5, I can use that to find out how many 7 groups would be. For example, if I knew that 3 groups of 5 was 15, and if I knew that 4 groups of 5 is 20, then I can see that 3 groups of 5 and 4 groups of 5 would all together give me 7 groups of 5, because 3 plus 4 is 7. So in order to find what 7 times 5 is, all I need to do is add 15 plus 20, which I can do in my head. 15 plus 20 is 35. So 7 groups of 5, or 7 times 5, equals 35. But the great thing about derived facts is that I can use any facts that I know. Let's say that we want to think of this as 5 times 7, or 5 groups of 7. Maybe I don't know what 5 groups of 7 is, but I might know what 2 groups of 7 is. 2 groups of 7, or 2 times 7, is 14. I can take another 2 groups of 7 and make 4 groups of 7. Then all I need to do is add one more group of 7 to make that 5 groups of 7. So in the end, 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. So I have 5 groups of 7. All I need to do now is find out what 14 plus 14 plus 7 is to find out how much 5 groups of 7 would be. 14 plus 14 is 28. If I add 7 to that, I get 35. So either way, I find my answer is 35. It's up to you. Is it easier for you to use derived facts with group 7 groups of 5? or five groups of seven. You could use different derived facts 